Okay then, let us start wrapping up this collection video with a few more miscellaneous things, a few more news, news books and a couple of other bits and pieces. So we have uh, the Blood Cell, uh, which is one of the uh, Peter Capaldi books from Wave 1. Absolutely fantastic Doctor Who book, I would highly recommend this and the um, Peter Capaldi Wave 1 books, um, they're absolutely fantastic. Oh, all of them get an 8 out of 10 from me, but this is probably the strongest. Absolutely fantastic sci-fi novel. Um, ripped through it in about three days. Uh, it was a brilliant book. Uh, Silhouette, I uh, managed to read a lot of this, um, and I nearly got it, um, uh, and I nearly finished the book in two days, which is incredible, and I... But in the end, I decided to, um, uh... Uh, kind of relish it a bit more and spread out and finish it on the third day of reading it. Absolutely fantastic Doctor book again. Uh, next up we have The Crawling Terror. Um, again, another fantastic Doctor book. If you like stories like, um, uh, if you like Doctor Who stories with enlarged insects like the Green Death and um, Plants of the Spiders, this is the story for you. You'll probably love this book if you like those kind of, um, uh, kind of uh, large insect stories, uh, fantastic Doctor Who book once again. Uh, the Glamour Chronicles, uh, book one, Big Bang Generation. I am about halfway through reading this and, uh, this is pretty good so far, not the best. Um, I haven't heard that it's that good of a book anyway. Um, uh, Royal Blood, um, uh, I don't really know too much about this book. Um, I don't know whether it's meant to be good or bad. Um, uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, and then we have uh, Deep Time, um, which I'm pretty interested in reading. Um, but I'm not sure when I'm going to get around to reading it. Um, very nice cover though. Really do like the cover of it. And that's the Glamour uh, trilogy right there. I got for my birthday uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, so yeah, next up we have uh, Who on Earth is Tom Baker, an autobiography of Tom Baker, which I found for only uh, £2.50 in Oxfam, which is pretty uh, nice. Um, so yeah, there's that. It's a really good book so far. I'm enjoying it. Uh, Whoology, um, absolutely fantastic Doc 2 book. Um, one that is absolutely essential to get in your collection, just like The Vault. Uh, 12 Doctors, 12 Stories, um, I haven't read any of this yet, uh, another kind of short trips kind of book, um, I think I might have read a little bit of it though actually, uh, the quiz book, um, another one of those little quiz books, really good edition actually, really do like that one, uh, Lethbridge Stewart, The Forgotten Sun, um, absolutely fantastic Doctor Who book, if you love The Web of Fear, you are going to love this book. Um, I don't want to say too much because I really am considering reading this, um, uh, reviewing this, but this is a fantastic Doctor Who book and I am very curious in uh, picking up the rest of this series, the Schizoid Earth and the uh, Beast of Bang Rock, which I think uh, both have been released. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, the Schizoid Earth was released last month and I'm pretty sure that um, uh, the Beast of Fine Rock is going to be released, has been either just released or is going to be released soon. So yeah, pretty interested in that, especially Beast of Fine Rock because it's um, uh, going to take the setting of a very classic Doc 2 story and um, do something new with it by the sounds of it. Um, Apollo 23, um, haven't read this one yet, awesome cover, uh, really don't know too much about this, so I'm not sure if it's meant to be good or, good or not. And now uh, we've got a few more Doctor Who books in here, so let me just get those out.